Cambria County, where two students have been arrested in connection with a school shooting threat at the Greater Johnstown School District. And that's according to officials in Johnstown who released the details of their investigation at a press conference this afternoon. Our Jack McCune was there and joins us now live. Jack, what can you tell us tonight? Maggie and Howard, the school was closed yesterday and remained closed today. I can tell you tonight that there were actually two separate threats. The one that happened on Monday that prompted the closure and then a separate one yesterday. Now, because they're under 18, officials are not revealing the students' names, what they were charged for, or the motive or validity of the threats. However, Cambria County District Attorney Greg Niebauer says the validity doesn't matter anyway and the investigation was treated just as quickly as a homicide case to make sure all students, faculty, and staff are, sa are safe to return to school. We take every one of these threats as being serious. This isn't something that uh, someone says or does and it's not taken extremely serious because you have to treat it as, as a legitimate threat. And Superintendent Dr. Amy Arcurio says she thanks JPD, her administration, her school resource officers, and several students who gave them tips and information to help close the case as soon as possible. School is back in session tomorrow, and she ensures everyone is safe to return. In Johnstown, Jack McCune, WTAJ News.